Francisco Bay Area, it's Rhea from Bridging the Gap, and today I'm with JC Alcantara and Andrea Brilliantis to talk about the hit I Want UFC series, Drag You and Me. How are you guys doing today? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all good <laughs> and blessed. Yeah. Nice. So, you know, the viewers and I know you guys from your respective projects, and it's amazing seeing you two blossom into the artists that you are today and slay the Filipino entertainment industry. JC, I am such a huge fan of your work. Like, for instance, your portrayal of Dobbs in An Inconvenient Love was amazing. I have an autistic brother, and how you illustrated a character who's on the autism spectrum was well represented. With that in mind, how do you experience working on Dragon and Me differ from your previous acting roles? Siguro, ano, uh, nagpagpag ako for, for dubs kasi ibang character siya. So ngayon naman, sobrang different na to sa na role na to. So sobrang loud at uh, nag-BL series naman ako before. So medyo alam ko na yung mga galawan pero mas mas malambot yung kamay si Shania as drag queen naman ako dito. So pinaghandaan ko to nag mga one month ako nag-aral ng high heels at uh, yung kamay ko pinalambot ko talaga tapos yung, yung mga katawan ko so para mas maging comfortable ako pag nasa set na ako. Yun. And Andrea, throughout your career you have starred in so many iconic films and teleseries and Drag You Me is a fantastic series where we specifically see your talents without factors such as the Gold Squad or your past love teams. As this is basically your first solo project as an adult, how has participating in Drag You and Me influenced what type of projects you would want to pursue moving forward? Actually, very, very new sa akin to. Kasi nga, tulad po ng sabi ninyo, ito yung first, series, ito yung first independent series ko talaga na wala akong love team. Tapos, wala yung gold squad or kahit part ng gold squad, wala. Pero, dito ko na-experience sa, oh my God, ang, ang saya ng ganitong set. Yung parang, every show bago. Kasi super sanay ako na, um, nagkadarang ginto ko Then my next show was with them also. And then another show with them also. So parang, this one is a new experience and I kind of like it and I find it very empowering. Um, to know more people, to be open with more people, to face new challenges alone, to waking up alone and just thinking about work, not waking up and, oh, I'm gonna see my boyfriend again. Like, this one's different and I like it. And I think um, in my age right now, uh, I need it more so I can grow more as an independent person. So let's talk about the series. JC shared how he prepared for the role, but Andrea, I want to know, how did you prepare for this role in Drag You and Me? Actually, I didn't really prepare because of Betty and I aren't really different um, in terms of character, in terms of my character. And I'm really a fan of drag ever since. So I know a lot about them. I didn't really need to practice. And um, I grew up growing, um, I grew up wearing heels um, knowing how to do my makeup, my hair. So, I didn't really need to prepare that much. Pero, um, pinactus ko yung script. Of course, pinactus ko yung script. Pinactus ko pa rin si Betty. Pero, like, wala talaga akong special preparations for it. Kasi, like, lumaki na kasi akong bakla. <laughs> Alam niyo, lumaki na akong bakla talaga. So, hindi na ako nag-prepare. So, in the series, there are so many memorable scenes. Were there any particular moments or scenes in the TV series that you found personally empowering or impactful? Episode episode 5. Ayun yung, ano, with, ano, na, nag-aaway na yung family ko. And then pinagtanggol ko sila Betty, yung family ni Betty kasi yun yung gusto kong pamilya na tanggap ako, tanggap kung sino ako, yung pagmamahal na gusto kong makuha sa kanila ko natatanggap na hindi ko matanggap sa family ko. Yun po. The series focuses on the LGBTQ plus community in the Philippines. How do you think Drag You Me contributes to the ongoing dialogue and progress of LGBTQ plus 
rise and visibility, especially in the Philippines. Sobrang laking tulong na to, yung platform na to, kasi uh, hindi pa sobrang gaano kakilala, pero ngayon mas nakikilala kasi dahil napapahalagahan na ng mga tao. At nung time na binigay sa akin tong character na to, na umuwi ako ng province namin and then sabi ko magda-drug queen ako mag drug ang alam nila is like drugs <laughs> so hindi sila aware na meron pa lang ganito at saka drug race siguro ang alam ang alam nila yung kakarera-karera sabi ko sabi ko hindi yun, 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 yun. pinakita ko yung picture ko na drug drug ako na ako so ipagpapatuloy mas maging aware sila na itong drug na to dapat pahalagahan natin. Just to add with what JC said, um, I think it's um a big deal that we have our first show about drag queens because the platform, the only platforms we have here in the Philippines about drag queens are the drag race and the drag den. But this is the first show for the drag people. So the viewers can also see um the struggles of being a drag Queen. Adding to that question, drag you and me highlights many universal issues like discrimination and prejudice against the LGBTQ plus community, repossession, and the desire to embody one true identity. How do you both see drag you and me bridging the gap between viewers all over the world where it educates inf- and influences viewers to advocate for change? In this show, we have like six, seven drag queens and Um, with each character, there's a different backstory. And I think we can help people to have more knowledge about what goes behind the curtains. Um, and hopefully, when people see that, they'll become more concerned or more in touch with us. And we can have more allies to stand up for the for this community and for us to be more loved and accepted and to show that we aren't doing anything wrong this is a form of art and we shouldn't get discriminated by it by doing what we love thank you this universe <laughs> <laughs> sobrang laki ng tulong na to sa mga viewers kasi as jason alam namin na hindi madaling mag-out, lalo na ngayon, dahil sobrang takot pa yung mga tao dito na... Kasi sobrang ano tayo dito, di ba? Really religious, di ba? So, conservative. Conservative, conservative na rin. So, mahirap, pero pag pinanood nila to, siguro mas magiging ano sila... Uh, open na rin sa mga nangyayari sa sa mga LGBTQIA plus community at uh, mas mahalin nila kasi you know LGBTQIA plus community is they deserve to be loved and I need English oh, sorry <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ayun ba so yeah. mag English ka so ang aga pa <laughs> Well, this has been an amazing and inspiring conversation. I am so happy that you two were the ones that got to be a part of the series because no one else would have been able to slay the way y'all slayed. Congratulations on Drag You and Me, and I cannot wait to watch the upcoming episodes on I Want TFC.